What's happening, everybody? This is ProExpertMidiAcademy.com. First of all, I gotta apologize for the fact that none of my recent videos have had anything to do with MIDI. Let's take a look. Elastic Audio. It turns out that Elastic Audio is a feature of Pro Tools that has nothing to do with MIDI. Uh, it's only got 33 views so far, but those are 33 people that are probably really pissed off at me right now. Uh, Band of Opportunity. Turns out that this was just a song that I uploaded. There's no helpful pointers, no useful tips, no educational material for any of my viewers to draw on. So these 38 people watched this and learned nothing. Uh, sorry. Uh, Slate Digital Trigger and Pro Tools making beats. I didn't know it at the time, but Slate Digital Trigger has nothing to do with MIDI. Uh, after I uploaded that, Stephen Slate contacted me and told me that I was misleading my viewers. So even if it does use MIDI in some capacity, it's not really a MIDI plugin. Uh, it's more of a drum replacement plugin, as it turns out. Uh, sorry, Stephen Slate. Uh, track colors for maximum production in Pro Tools. Uh, look, I mean, track colors. You can understand why I would have thought that track colors would have been MIDI controlled, uh, but it turns out that they're completely independent of that. Um, using Waves Tune and Pro Tools. This one really breaks my heart because it's got almost 10,000 views, but unfortunately it's going to have to be taken down because it has nothing to do with MIDI. Um, I was under contract to make 10 videos in under a year um, monumental undertaking and uh, in order to get material I was using a 10 page pamphlet called MIDI for Idiots. The last chapter was uh, fix your MIDI solos um, and basically I I ripped off the material uh, based on the chapters and so I made a, a video based on the material in the book and um, it turns out that after I was done reading the book, I uh, had a little bit too much month at the end of my money. And so I had to pull these out of my ass. And uh, it turns out that it, it I jumped the gun a little bit. This stuff doesn't have anything to do with MIDI. That won't happen again. I've been asked about recording onto multiple MIDI tracks at once. I'm going to show you how to do that because normally in a digital audio workstation situation you uh, record arm a MIDI track and it's just one at a time. You do them one at a time and you can't do more than one. It's going to be a little bit slow today. Uh, my mic stand got stolen so I'm having to use one of my hands to hold up the mic and the other hand to use the trackball. So it's going to hamper the process a little bit. Um, so here's how you record and enable multiple MIDI tracks in Pro Tools. First of all, you go to the mix window because you don't have access to a, a record enable button in the other window. And you may notice that if I try to record enable more than one track at a time, it uh, cancels the other one. All you have to do is hit the shift key. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me because both of my hands are taken up, so I'm going to have to set down the mic. Okay, uh, and that's how you record our multiple MIDI tracks. You could do as many as you want. But, as we'll find out here, this doesn't really help me. Let me demonstrate uh, the usual thing that happens in this scenario that people complain about. I make two MIDI tracks. I've already talked about how to get past this. Now, by default, in most digital audio workstations, the input is set to Omni mode where it listens to any and all MIDI controllers that you're transmitting from. Usually you're only going to transmit from one because most people aren't very good musicians and they can only play one part at the time. And uh, whenever they try to play two parts at once, it doesn't go so well. In case, unless you're me or somebody. So even if I was to pick two different parts of an instrument, like I'm doing now, and I start playing. That doesn't help 
me much because uh, every, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's happening. So even if I record the both of these at the same time, it's not separate performances and I'd have to go in and, and pick them out and stuff like that. And you know, I hate doing things by hand. So how do we get past this? Well, I've already done it over here. That same pie in the oven analogy would apply here, but I'm not going to go into it again. Uh, I've got six different parts, six different MIDI controllers. Each one is listening to only one. How did I achieve this? Well, instead of picking all for the input, I'm going to predefined, and it has a list of all my MIDI controllers here. So all I have to do is pick one of them, pick which channel, and I'm good to go. So uh, let's demonstrate. For my drum part, sending to sample tank to uh, punchy kit, I decided to use. Uh, I have to record enable it, of course, but it's only listening to my Axiom 25. So I'm going to set down the mic. Okay, but if I record enable the bass track and uh, start playing my Axiom 25, nothing happens, no audio. That's because I have it only listening to my A500 Pro. record enable the piano part it's only listening to the Akai MPD 32 so if I play the A500 Pro nothing's happening but now listen as I play the MPD 32 for the piano part Excuse me. All right. So that's proof that what I'm telling you isn't bullshit. Like some people would say. Uh, so hypothetically, I could uh, record on to two of these at the same time as long as I have them all record armed. Let me demonstrate. Okay, now, uh, let me actually attempt to do this. I mean, you're going to have to record it at some point, right? Let's clear the peaks. I'm definitely going to want to click track. Remember, in Pro Tools, all you have to do is click this metronome up here. That'll give you your click. And I am going to want a one bar count off. This is going to take a lot of concentration. Um, and it's probably not going to be perfect. That's what quantizing is for. Refer to my first video. All right, here it goes.
was hard. I messed up on that bass a little bit, um, but I could easily quantize that. Or uh, on my Fix Your MIDI Solos video, uh, there's a lot of stuff there that I could use on this as well to fix that up. Okay, this has been uh, ProExpertMIDIAcademy.com uh, demonstrating how to record unique parts on the multiple MIDI tracks at once. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section. And please stop only watching uh, the Wavestune video. This video is just as good. There's plenty of videos that are just as relevant to MIDI as Wavestune is. And uh, I don't really understand why the Wavestune video is so popular. Um, I, I may have promoted it or monetized it somehow with a lot of money. I just don't remember, though. It shouldn't take that because this video is amazing. All right, see you later. See you next time.